We we want to now bring one of our amazing, amazing bishops up up, up for it now. Bishop. Again, count one, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, federal program bribery, and to receive campaign contributions by foreign nationals being the first one. And you've talked quite a bit about that as we're taking a look at Gracie Mansion as the mayor is walking to the podium. The very first line item in the indictment in 2014, Eric Adams, the defendant, became Brooklyn Borough president. Therefore, for nearly a decade, Adams saw and accepted improper valuable benefits such as luxury international travel, including from wealthy foreign business people and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over him. By 2018, Adams, who had then been known, his, made, made known his plans to run for mayor of New York City, not only accepted, but then sought illegal campaign contributions to his 2021 campaign. Let's listen from the mayor right now. First of all, I want to thank you uh, for being here this morning, and I want to thank uh, the supporters of all ethnic groups that I hear, particularly the men and women of the clergy that's here that have joined me here today. And we are not surprised. We expected this. This is not surprising to us at all. The actions that have unfolded over the last 10 months, yeah. the leaks, the commentary, the demonizing, this did not surprise us that we reached this day. And I asked New Yorkers to wait to hear our defense before making any judgments. In about 30 minutes, you're going to hear a story of the case that is in front of us. This story will come from the federal prosecutors. And I ask to wait and hear our side to this narrative. From here, my attorneys will take care of the case so I can take care of the city. My day-to-day -day will not change. I will continue to do the job for 8.3 million New Yorkers that I was elected to do. Amen. And millions of migrants, illegal immigrants. Boy, mm, I usually will let this play, but this looks like, I mean, he didn't pull everybody off the plantation and all these black folk behind him and is a talking and then and has done the church mm -hmm. amen not a white soul in sight and it's very apropos because he is actually against aoc and alexandria ocasio cortez whatever her name is she it before he was indicted she was telling him he needs to resign because of his corrupt because of all because he was being investigated and he shot back you know i'm the first black mayor and essentially used the race card against her so now it looks like he's back again with the race card because nearly not all but nearly every person that has resigned was black they have been investigated were black so now they don't the chitlin circuit plantation walk there's a prosecuting a black man now i will say you know they got all the time to do this for eric adams but they don't have any time to go through Epstein's files and do anything about that and all the other things that have been corrupt. And he says that he has been, you know, prosecuted. He's been targeted by Biden and Kamala Harris because he spoke out about the illegal immigration and the migrant crisis and how it was untenable and that they need to do something about it. And then they needed to give, they needed funds in New York city to keep up with it. He was preaching a different tune, but let's get back into the uh, Chitlin circuit talk. Oh, and 
Guys, you're going to want to watch this whole thing because the hecklers, as you saw in the beginning, are not here for it. And in case you're wondering, those are black folk that are heckling. And the 300,000 plus employees of our city government mm -hmm. will continue to do their jobs because this is what we do as New Yorkers. It's an insult to the hardworking people of this city that anyone would say that they won't do their jobs while this case proceeds in the background. They are dedicated public servant and I have been one of them for many years, and they're going to continue to do their job moving the city forward every day. It's an unfortunate day, and it's a painful day. But inside of all of that, it's a day where we will finally reveal why for 10 months I have gone through this. And I look forward to defending myself yeah. and defending the people of this city yeah. as I've done throughout my entire professional mm -hmm. career. That's right. I want to now turn it over to the person who started me on this journey, Reverend Herbert Daughtry. Amen. 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 Okay, so they get all these people in the Chitlin circuit to come up there and, and say all this. I just want to play a few parts of the heckling that happened throughout this whole thing, even with the other people talking. That's all you do. That's all you brought here to criticize. Yeah. We are going to be here. We are, we're going to be here. I'm sorry, Mother Drew. Hey, uh, brother, this is a 92-year-old elder. Show us some respect. A 92-year-old elder. She stands next to you. She stands next to Carlo. Yeah. As the NAACP, as the 501c3, yeah. you should not be standing for a we are calling on all New Yorkers to listen carefully, not to the loud mouths, but listen to facts and figures. His lawyers will go and do our work for us, and we will stand with this mayor. Right. Thank you. The, we want to now bring one of our amazing, amazing bishops up, up, up forward now. Bishop. We are admonished to be angry and sin not. We can have our anger and we move forward. 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 None of us. Is it me or she kind of look like Tyler Perry when he plays Medea? It looks like Medea, but not her trying to, uh, uh, she's a bishop, a woman bishop, right? And they always try to do the church folk. Have you noticed when black politicians get in trouble, they always bring the church and the NAACP to help them with their crimes and then try to shame you for speaking out against them. Cause, oh, this is your elder and this is a bishop. Okay, they're standing with you. Does that mean that they're not standing for corruption? That's not like they're, you know, they're going against you. Don't act like they're trying to fight against this old lady. Like, sir, stop, stop the mess. None of us have ever done anything in our lives that we've asked forgiveness for and it was not granted. 
We live in a society where if we do something, there is a due process for all of us. There's a process that starts, it has a middle, and it has an end. And none of us has the right to preempt that process. If I have an accident, I have to report it to my insurance, and they fight it out, and then a verdict is, is announced. Oh, so this idiot is saying, oh, we should have no opinion of this. And the Southern District of New York, who has a 99% success rate, and they've been investigating him for over for nearly a year, that it's just, it's just all made up. Could it be possible? Sure. But this mayor, this, ugh, he, he looks like one of these weird, like doll babies with like the gross Halloween face. I mean, he's just a real turd. And here she is trying to shame people once again for asking questions and being upset for how the city's been run. People are not only just upset about, you know, it, it, people aren't even upset about the corruption. We already assume that that's going on with him. But it's the, it's, they are going off about the things that he has done in the city that have hurt the people. But again, people in New York City voted for him. So when you vote for a turd, this is what you get. We cannot prejudge any situation in fear that we might prejudge it inappropriately. And the same justice that we want for ourselves, we want for our mayor. That's right. If I confess, I know there is a God that says he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from everything that is unrighteous. Until the verdict is announced, we stay. We are not people who have a yellow strip down our back, and neither are we intimidated by loud voices. Whatever the truth is, the truth will prevail. I get this linebacker off the, the podium, because you are not going to use the name of God. All of us, and they all, again, this is Chitlin Circuit 101, Plantation Democrat Play 101. Just a bunch of plantation where hey, hey, you wants me to go up there and sing God master. I just do it. I just do it. I mean, it's just, it's just foolishness. I, I, it just, and then shaming. They're not saying that, you know, they're not actually going into any detail. It's just shaming language and we have to let it play out and let it play out. Just trying to buy him time so he can continue to be mayor, probably do more favors or line his pockets some more and help these people out. But again, this is uh, 10 months ago, uh, when my phones were removed, like today, today it was about my phones. S same thing that happened 10 months ago. Today was about my phones. Let's get clear on that. When, when they removed my phones 10 months ago, people said that all of a sudden the city was going to collapse. It was not going to move forward. Look what has happened over 10 months. Over 10 months, more jobs in the city That's history. Right. More right. small businesses That's open. Right. Decreasing crime. Uh, you're seeing over and over again success, success. Over and over again. So we're going to continue continue to prosper we're going to continue to move forward and we're looking forward to that in the city yes how are you doing uh -huh. it's the, the city of new york and continue the success that we've witnessed in the last two years and nine months as the mayor of the city of new york thank you very much child the ghetto so again you know, there's a lot of people that need indictment. There's a lot of investigation that needs to be done and people that are being overlooked. And I do find it curious that he did speak out against the Biden administration. And then that's when an investigation started with him regarding the illegal immigrants and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez AOC, who is dead set on illegal immigrants. I mean, she basically wants them to even be able to vote. And how they have torn up New York City in so many cities. And we're not even going to get into the border. And, you know, you dare speak out like that. Well, you're going to go down. So it looks like they were given the green light to go after him. Just like they were given the green light to go after Diddy. I'm not saying he didn't do this. And he's not a turd that needs to be flushed down the toilet. Drain the swamp. But they pick and choose where they're going to drain. They pick and choose who they're going to indict. And it seems as though... 
the powers that be are able to dictate how that happens. But guys, leave a comment below. Make sure you are checking out my other channel, Melanie Off Script. I have some crazy videos over there. One that Candace Owens did, digging into Kamala Harris's background and providing receipts. But essentially, the woman that she claims is her grandmother that she has pictures with in her 20s, that woman died four years before she was born. And then the man that she claims is her father now, well, that man died when he was two years old. So who are these people? Make sure you check out the link in the description box. And I'll also leave a pinned comment to the top of this video. And it'll also be on the screen. With that, I will see you on the next one.